What's up guys, we're here at Muskie Max 2020. We're in front of the Grim Reaper Lures booth and I've got Kevin right here with us. So what we wanted to do is just talk about Grim Reaper and show you guys some of these bait configurations. Um, these are really solid products, awesome, tremendous amount of colors you have, a lot of different configurations. So these baits catch a ton of fish throughout the entire year and they're really a good one for multiple species as well. So yeah, absolutely. We, we wanted to spend some time with Kevin and just show you guys these products. So Kevin, why don't you tell us a little bit about Grim Reaper? Well, Grim Reaper, as you can see by the sign, has been around since 1985. Um, Doug Risso started making them. Uh, I got to be friends with him over the years and purchased the company about two and a half years ago. So I've been using Grim Reaper for 20 years. And highly productive and highly, highly effective baits. Um, very well known, been in a lot of Muskie Shop magazines and, and been around. So it's a good thing. We have, um, we have 42 colors available in our baits. So starting with 02, 4, 6, 8, 10, all the way up to 84 and even numbers. And they're different color combinations. And we have different weight combinations available on each color. So this is a tandem. This would be a double willow. This would be a slow roll, which is a double Colorado. This is a triple. And then we get into the cats. This is the one ounce wildcat. And that's the one ounce bad cat. So this is pretty much right here our one ounce selection. We also have these four blade configurations available in half ounce. From there we move over to the ounce and a half. And in the ounce and a half, we have a super cat, which is a very unusual and different spinner bait where the interlocking blades rotate around the shaft. There is no swivel, it's, it's counter rotating and around, rotating around the shaft. And then there's the big cat, which is a fluted Indiana. It's actually a bigger version of the wild cat, but the fluted Indiana. This is a one ounce. And this is the one and a half ounce version with the fluted Indiana. Uh, have really big following with the Wildcat and the Big Cat. Very successful. I have a lot of guides out in Illinois that swear by those models. Then we have the Boss Cat, which is a one and a half ounce tandem version. The tandem has the willow with the Colorado in front. You get the, you get the flash of the willow with the thump of the Colorado. Um, that's the primary distance difference between those blades. We go into a triple two ounce, which is our heavyweight, with a triple bladed two ounce. All of our spinner baits come pre rigged with a trailer hook and a teaser grub. Pre, pre rigged. All of our American made products have a full ball bearing swivel. A lot of your cheaper baits and a lot of your import baits have a crane swivel. This is a ball bearing swivel, very smooth. The interlocking beads that we use on the blades here keeps the blades in place a lot of them now there's just the, the blade slides around and when you cast it and it's falling the blade is up against the wire this as it's dropping and as you retrieve it the blades are immediately spinning um, all of our baits are twisted for use with leaders and the weight is actually the weight of the head. So the overall lure is a little bit heavier, but the weight category is by the head size, not the, you know, the overall. Then we have our hand-tied bucktails, which are tied by my daughter. These are starting with the 650s, and then you go up into the 850s. Then we have some willow-bladed ones, some, some turtle blades, and these are called tandems. They're a spinner bait arm on a bucktail. And then we have the Mag-10 blades on our 1800 blue gas piece. We sell the replacement trailer grubs for our spinner baits. We have leaders available. We have our larger stickers and decals. We also sell, now at, at the shows we carry the solid colors, but we have what we call rebuild kits. Since Grim Reaper's been around since 85, and I have probably 40 of them before I bought the company, I realized that one of the good things would be a rebuild kit. So you can basically get two skirts, a grub, and a sharp trailer hook and rebuild your spinnerbait. And if you get on our website, GrimReaperLores.com, 
you can order, you know, a perch color or whatever rebuild kit for that color. Right here, we just carry the solids at the shows. Okay. We also sell the trailer hooks, ready to roll. And teach you. <laughs> All right, so Kevin, I got one or two more questions for you. What is your absolute favorite bait and favorite application for a Grim Reaper lure? All right, favorite color, it's gotta be crunch. It's actually our number one selling color also. A lot of people like the slow roll double Colorado. Um, and the double willow. I have a tendency to start out with the tandem. Generally, I start out, I have one rod that always has me, which I'm sold out of. <laughs> I have the perch color tandem on one rod, one ounce, all the time. That's what I start with. Typically, what I, what I do is I start with a perch color and I'll throw it for 45 minutes. If I don't get a follow and I don't get a hit, I switch categories. And by that I mean our lures are categories in three colors, categorized in three colors. We have the naturals, which are the red lure sucker, the silver sucker. Um, we have the walleye color, we have the crappy, bluegill, we have the sunfish, and a shad. That's a real popular one. But generally, I start with with the perch because where I fish, there's a lot of perch, a lot of feed. Um, if I'm not catching anything within 45 minutes, I switch categories. That means I either go to our standards or I go to the brights. I will go to either a black and nickel or I'll go to the white and nickel, which I consider our standard. And there could be a white with a white blade. That's also kind of a standard. If that's not working, then what I do is I switch to a bright and I go with either a fire tiger, the Irishman, or chartreuse, chartreuse and white. So generally what I try to do is if I'm not getting anything in one category, I'll switch to a different category. I don't go from one natural to another natural. I try to change it up a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's really, I mean, that's really important because that's, you know, something with these, we have so many different options. You know, sometimes we think, well, if I'm going to throw a shad color, maybe I'll throw a perch, which to me are two natural colors. Maybe yeah. you should try, you know, different different applications. So the other cool thing is there's a lot of different weights that you have. You've got like half ounce, right? Yes. Half You've ounce got one here. ounce. Yep. So there's multiple weight configurations too, up to what, an, an ounce and a half? Ounce and a half real common. We actually do have the two ounce over okay. there. Okay, so you've got multiple weights. So really that, that makes this even more versatile because now you've got different weights to play around with and up and down the water column, you can do different applications. So really, really cool stuff with these. Right, and one of the things that I like to say is, I mean, you have the option of throwing a half ounce, which is available in the same blade configurations as this. This happens to be a tandem, this is double willow. I have a tendency to throw the one ounce. Uh, I get another 20 feet on my cast with this, which means as it's coming back to me, it's down at the bottom, it's in the strike zone for another 20 feet. Um, the blades are a little bit larger, it doesn't, it doesn't seem to affect, uh, I'm really shooting for the larger fish anyway. So I have a tendency to throw the half out. Uh, I, catch, uh, I actually have on the perch color, one ounce, I have four 21 inch large mouth on it. So, very effective for largemouth, for a lot of northern pike, pickerel, and muskie. Yeah, so guys, if you didn't come down to Musky Max, you know, Grim Reaper, you're, you guys are also going to be up in New yep. York. The New, New York, York show. show coming up. So what's the best way to get a hold of you, Kevin, if somebody wants to take a look at these products? Okay. Um, if they're not going to come to the New York show, they can always go to GrimReaperLures.com. We have a new website and you can actually see the colors, you can see the models and the blade configurations and the weights all there. Pick what you want, add to the cart. We take PayPal and everything right there on, online. All right, awesome, awesome. Okay. Well, Kevin, thank you very much for sitting down and talking thank with you. us. We really appreciate that. Check out Grim Reaper Lures, guys. Awesome, fantastic baits. Kevin's a great guy too, so thank you guys very much. Thank you.